that post is about the southwest corner. This is the reinforced access. This is where the utility company accesses for the power line here. And there's also a fire hydrant here, you can probably see, which is gonna help your, um, your insurance. This area here where all the cane is, is the highest point on the front of the property and closest to the road. It would be the easiest place to build on, just not my preferred place, not the most private place. And I would utilize this easement as part of my driveway. That way, I'm that way the uh, utility company is kind of helping me to maintain my driveway. Normally, I bring a machete, but I didn't want to try to swing a machete while I'm recording video. So I'm walking off the easement. And I'm on the property. We're quite a bit below the grade of the road here which is only going to help reduce road noise during, uh, especially during the times of year when the trees have full leaf bloom. I, I don't know how much frontage you want to clear off eventually. So I'm walking towards the west property line here can't get all the way to the west property line because of the cane. I wanted to bring my drone out here, but kind of short on time. I'm in a hurry. Get some video for y'all. west end of the creek. And you can see through there, you can see the flag. Of course it goes, it runs parallel, uh, perpendicular to the road. You can see through here, purple, on the tree, purple paint, additional property markings. I'm just gonna kind of follow the creek. You got a couple of little drainage runs, different places. I've never seen this creek have let any less water in it than it has now. They've, they've never, I've, I haven't been out here as much as they have, of course, because I they've owned it for a long time. But uh, they've never seen it out of the bank. This is not a flood zone. The property line is, is up, up this hill over here. Over here would be a good place to build on that side of the creek. Um, my preferred spot is all the way at the far end of the property on the uh, northeast of the property. Okay, so you can see right here, purple paint as a property line. And I'll, I'll as I see that, okay, and I'm standing here at the creek. 
gonna be a long video. See the creek widens out a lot right here. Just a little undercut. I'm gonna be talking and walk right into a big briar. Should have stayed on the other side of the creek. It's decently deep here in a few places. Another purple marking right there. Another one right there. The creek is moving towards the back property line in this area. And of course you can see that it moves away from the property line a little bit that way. So this area out here could be built on. It just seems wet compared to some of the other parts. That's one of the reasons I like this side of the creek best because I've never had any, any wet spots over here. Plus, it gets you off the road. I know y'all are not really looking to build soon, but eventually, There's an additional purple marking right there on that pine tree. A lot of gravel in the bottom of the creek. This appears to be about the farthest point back on the property for the creek. So you can see up at the top of the hill, the paint there, and then on this pine tree there. So it doesn't quite go to the top of the hill. There is a, a drainage spot here in this low area. I see water. It's had quite a bit of rain lately, but uh, it wasn't there last time I was out here. But um, there may be a spring right around in here, be my suspicion. And the, all the rain we've had lately has caused the the aquifer or the source of the spring, wherever that source is coming from, to uh, to start pushing water up, be my suspicion. <clears throat> so now I'm cutting way back into the interior of the property towards the west end and the highway. cut here in the banks. Very nice. I'm getting close to the southern boundary. Actually, I guess that would be the eastern boundary. Deep cut. There's the water line, supply line cutting through the ditch right there. The water main then the creek gets into that thicker area up there that's actually in the uh, right of way in easement for the electric service so I would surprise there's not a culvert there and I'm getting pretty close you can see the marking right there And then I'm gonna 
walk it back. Let's see, let me get over here to the to the property line. So this would actually not be a bad place to build. Um, you just have a, a steep driveway coming in, or even I guess you could follow the right of way from the other side access from the road. You just have to have a culvert. So looks like here's a here's a marker. And there's straight ahead so looking towards the creek you can see there's a plenty of room in there building restrictions would be 10 feet off of this property line I'm trying to walk it I'm gonna cut back to the creek to show you the the gap occasionally so here you see way down the hills where the creek is Walking a little bit farther. Now we're up pretty high and on this big knoll here. This is kind of where I was thinking I would want to build. Were I to build out here, I'm gonna walk around this dead tree. Rabbit poop on the ground here in front of me. Little scat, so to speak. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut back to the property line. And here is one of the high spots out here. And you can see kind of why I like this. Because you're looking down on this creek. And you can clean up the creek, make that as pretty as you want to. I'm still not all, all the way back on the property line. Here it is. There's a marker through there on a T post. I'm gonna try to walk straight to it if I can. But anywhere in here would be real fine building. You've got this hill, you've got that flat plane down below the hill before you get to the creek. Again, we're still up high on this hill. Nice view out across the valley. I think this is gonna be the corner right here. May not be because we have this marking here. But I think, I think this is the corner of the property, pretty sure it is. That paint's probably marking the, the back door neighbor. He's been approached by several buyers look, wanting to purchase some of the back side of his property and I can show you how that lays, but his house is way up against the road. You can almost see the back of one of his shops through the trees. So he's got quite a bit of acreage and it runs all the way past, I think, a little bit, the far uh, point of this land, the far western point of this land. Um, so you can still see how far we are back from the creek. I'm on the back corner of the property. I mean, you could even build right here. You just have to do a little bit of feel to level it with this hill over here to the side. That's why I prefer that as my building point I'm walking down the property line right now the best I can ascertain so this would even be a really nice spot it would require a, like a combination pier and beam slab house or maybe just a pier and beam that kind of stilted out over so you'd have some under porch a storage, maybe have a deck, a cantilever deck sticking out. Um, I just think that it would be better over there on that that knoll. 
Again, if you don't necessarily want to build on a hill, then at the far end of the property down here where we started, on that west end would be a nice spot. So I'm walking the property line, the north property line. So before I was pointing out this property line from the creek, now you can kind of see how the creek flows in relation to the property line. Again, this is a little bit flatter area, be easy to build on. Then you just have to come down the driveway, come straight in, put a culvert across the creek, build here at the other end of the property. It'd be a little bit more complicated coming in, but the nice thing is there are several really good options out here. And based on our previous conversations, you're not in a hurry to build anything. So you can always choose what to do. Of course, the more complicated thing would be to build a starter home over there where that cane is. That would be, you would be able to uh, sell it and keep the lion's share of the land for yourself and build again once you were sure where you needed to build. The kicker is you'd want to live in the house for at least two years. That way when you sold it, there would not be no um, there would no be a capital gains tax on the sale because it'll be your personal residence, <clears throat> a homestead. Even if it's not your primary personal residence, maybe it's considered your secondary uh, home. There's still some significant tax advantages to that. So I believe that I'm on the western boundary here where the creek makes this big dog leg. I lost my flag back here, but you can see the flag straight ahead on the other side of the creek. And this is in that area where the cane runs thick, mostly back up to the highway.